Okay, so yeah, we're gonna take a quick look at the new ADATA SC660H uh, external SSD. Um, it's a small, you know, two and a half mil sort of form factor size um, enclosure, so it looks the same as any normal um, normal hard drive. Sure. However, the big difference with this is that it is incredibly quick. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I sort of gave the guys a little quick demo um, before we started recording, and um, we had, what, four, four or five gigs worth of video files that transferred in under about 25 seconds or so. Well, oh, damn. Yeah. yeah. Under it's a fast drive. Seconds, to be honest, it was just gone. Yeah, it's, um, I mean, it's, it's a really impressive piece of kit. I mean, when you... When you look at it, you think it's going to be sort of fairly weighty, but it, it is quite light. Mm -hmm. um, we all noticed that pretty much straight away, didn't we? Yeah. Um, it feels hollow, which is worrying. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it, that's the thing. It's, I mean, obviously it's not hollow. But <laughs> I mean, it's, it's hollow in, a, in some respects, because it, it has got like, a, it doesn't have that mechanical drive inside of it, so it's not filling out all the space. Sure, hence the solid state. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not prepared to crack it open and have a look inside it because that would be mental. Um, you sure? Hold on. Yeah, as Matthew prepares to throw it on the floor. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I, I'm really impressed with it. Um, the the main reason that I, you know, um, I got in touch with uh, with their data, uh, they they sort of sent the email out and I said, you know, can we give it a try to see how it works with the PS4's new um, external storage options? True. So you know, I plugged it into my PS4 and through Horizon Zero Dawn onto it. Now, it took about seven minutes to transfer, which is kind of what I expected, because that was the same as you know, taking it off the drive and putting it on a normal um, external hard drive. But the thing that I noticed was, um, when you start playing the game, it's immediately noticeable how, how quick this thing is. Right. Um, launching the game from uh, the, the stock sort of internal hard drive on the PS4, yeah, yeah. that took one minute and six seconds. Right. Um, launching it from my external hard drive, so the spinning platter one, that took one minute and four seconds. Uh -huh. And I thought, this is going to be interesting to see what it does. But launching it from the SSD took 33 seconds. It's the hard drive Olympics and it's won gold. It did. Yeah. It just it <laughs> smashed it. Um, so. It is. It's a very impressive piece of kit. So, um, going to sort of have a quick look at the, uh, you know, at the, at the tech blurb. Um, it's it's using three D NAND technology. So that's basically a, a new type of uh, technology for, for SSDs, right? Where they stack quite a lot of um, like silicon on top of each other. Okay. Uh, on top of it. So essentially, all it does is it just allows a lot more like reliability and it allows a lot like a lot quicker access to data yeah um, and it's what a lot of like premium high-end solid-state drives use at the moment for okay. stuff um, I don't think I've seen performance like this from a USB drive mm. ever I mean we've I've tried out um, some uh, some like internal storage uh, internal SSDs, so the you know ones that you actually put inside a PC um, both through SATA which is the standard for your, you know, for your hard drives and stuff, yep. and also through PCIe, so that's your, you know, they're the sort of expansion slots you normally put graphics cards in, but you can get PCIe um, SSDs. I as feel well. like you're just picking random letters now. Yeah. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> but honestly, I, I, I have to say this is a legitimately impressive piece of kit. Yeah. Um, thank you to Adata for getting in touch with us and, and providing us with this for the review. The only downside to this is, as with you know most sort of premium tech. Um, is that it is quite pricey. For a 256 gig one, you're looking at £100. And for a 500 gig one, you're looking at £180. Mm -hmm. So it's not cheap, but if you want the absolute best in speed that you're going to get from an external drive for your PlayStation or for anything, um, then you know it might be worth it to you. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do us for now. Um, please make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff, and uh, we will see you guys soon. Bye. Bye. Goodbye.